Okay, this is part three of um, our customizing and scaling planet Earth. In the previous versions, we scaled the planet Earth to a full-size uh, disk image. Okay, here's a case where we don't really have a full-size disk. We got a partial disk because we we zoomed in. Um, we don't know or don't remember what the factor was, so what we need to do is uh, figure out what what our scale is. Yeah, so we can put in a planet Earth and show how big this uh, sunspot is, actually. So Photoshop doesn't really give you any real easy ways of doing this. Um, they don't give you the vector capabilities like they do in Illustrator. Um, you can't really measure this arc. So the only uh, solution that I've really found that's usable and gives you close to, to a, a good enough scale is using what I call the circle method. And basically what we're going to do is we're going to put a circle in the center of this and then we're just going to expand that circle until we get the approximate curvature that we see here, right here on the screen. Okay, So let's start off by, uh, we're going to go through and we're going to select a circle. And if you don't have the circle, you'll have a little down arrow here, a little corner, and you click on that. And you can see that they, uh, they don't really give you a circle, so it's the ellipse tool. So we click on the ellipse. Um, hold down the shift key before you get started. So I hold down the shift key and I just left click and I make a circle. Now holding down the shift key allows you to make a perfect circle. Okay, And for our purposes the Sun is a perfect circle. Okay? Now that we've done this, obviously this is not anywhere near close. So we want to go edit and transform and we want to take the scale. Okay. Always hold down the shift key now because you want to keep that perfect circle. So I hold down the shift key, I grab one corner, and I just expand. Okay, still not big enough, so we take it, left, left click, and we just drag it up in the corner. Hold down the shift key, expand some more, and we keep doing the same process until we get the approximate curvature. Now, I mean, you're going to have to do this a few times, obviously. And we'll just keep doing this a few more. We're getting close. Getting a little closer. Uh, and all I'm doing is I'm just um, just left clicking and I'm dragging it around. Uh, that looks like it's getting really close. That's not too bad. A little bit more though. And I'm holding down the shift key. I left click and I drag my corner out. And what it's doing is keeping my perfect circle. That's getting closer. And we'll maybe one more time. Now, I'm just, there we go. Oh, that's that's pretty close. Oh yeah, you see that nice fine line here, okay? So now what we wanna do is we wanna zoom out so we can see how big this is. Now you'll notice I haven't checked this yet and said okay, except my new big circle. And the reason why is because we wanna put guidelines down first. So I'm gonna do a control minus and I'm just gonna keep on zooming out. There we go. And I'm gonna come over here and as you learned from our previous one, if I left click over here on the ruler, I can pull guides out, and I'm going to stop one there, and I'm going to pull out another guide, and I'm going to stop it there. Now I'm going to accept. Okay. Now I have two guidelines. So we're going to go up Analyze, Ruler, and we're going to click between our two guides. Measure from here to there. And of course you know it's, it's not proximate, so and according to our scale, it's about 1340. That's that's pretty good. So we're going to go with that. So let's do bring up our calculator and 1340 divided by 109, eh, 12. So our Earth scale for this particular image needs to be about 12 centimeters. So we say okay. Let's get rid of this. Let's uh, let's clear our guides. So we go to oops. <laughs> Pull this out and let's zoom back in. We don't need this any longer, so I'm just going to left click and uh, get rid of it because I know now that my planet Earth needs to be 12. I'm going to go over here. I'm going to open up my planet. I called it World Glare originally, so I'm going to pull that open. And here's the particular planet that I like to use all the time. I resize it just so I can drag it over here. Then I'll select my move key, grab the entire planet, 
and drop it in place. I no longer need this. Go back full screen. Okay, so now here's my planet. We need to rescale it. So let's let's go ahead and let's go ahead and take edit. And again, oops, but we're going to do transform and scale. Now it's going to be kind of hard. Hold down the shift key and let's just shrink this way down. Um, we need to get it to 12 centimeters, so control plus to zoom in. And I normally zoom in well over 100%. You'll see why here really in a second. Get that out of the way. There's our Earth. And I just drag it up so I can measure it. Again, hold down the shift key. We want to get this down. So now we're at 12. Yep, there we go. Right about, right about there. Okay. Say OK. Control minus, and there we have it. And now that Earth is scaled properly according to your image. Now again, this is approximation. It's not perfect. It's not meant to be precise. Photoshop doesn't really give you a way of measuring this arc. So the circle method allows you to, to get a fairly accurate representation of your planet and bring scale into your images. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this uh, three-part series, and uh, happy solar imaging.